ओके ठीक है ओके तो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑल इन दिस मॉर्निंग सेशन वेयर वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग एक्सरसाइज टू एंड व्हेन वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग दिस एक्सरसाइज टू एक्सरसाइज वन इज इन आर बैकग्राउंड सो विथ एक्सरसाइज वन वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग एक्सरसाइज टू so in exercise 1 we went through seven steps to observe our consciousness by the consciousness and with these seven steps now we are moving towards exercise 2 where we are trying to observe the body through the consciousness we are trying to observe the interaction between the self and the body through the consciousness so during exercise 1 we practiced to observe consciousness by consciousness and now in this exercise 2 we are trying to observe body by the concept of consciousness and interaction between the self and body by the self consciousness so this is how we are moving step by step and this is to be noted that this is just one way of looking within not the only way so the steps mentioned in this exercise are one possible set of steps to see ourselves to see body and to see interaction between the self and the body so this is not the only steps so with this background we started step 1 yesterday so let me brief the step 1 then we will move towards step 2 so in step 1 we explore that human being is a coexistence of self and body and we also have these proposals with us through various workshops uhp workshops that human being is a coexistence of self and body so self is consciousness body is material so through step 1 we are practicing to see the two realities which exist separately independently so consciousness is a unit body is a unit both exist and we have to observe it directly from the state of your observer that body exist and self also exist so to ensure that body exists we are observing the body and when we are observing our body we can see that some activities are taking place at the level of body because these activities are taking place that's why we can say that body exists similarly if we observe ourselves some conscious activities are taking place in our consciousness on the basis of this observation we can say that conscious unit also exists so i exists i can say on the basis of observing my activities and then we can say that self is a reality consciousness is a reality it exists it is an existential reality similarly with direct observation we can observe on the basis of observing or reading sensation from the body so many activities are going on in our body we can observe those activities directly and the base on the basis of those observation on the basis of those reading sensations we can say that body also exists body is a reality it is also an existential reality so on the basis of these observations we can say the self and the body 
are two distinct realities and we have to observe it. So it is very easy step to observe ourselves, to observe our body. And with this observation, we can say that these are two realities, not a same reality. So consciousness is a reality that exists separately. Body is also a reality that exists separately. And both exist because now I can see them, both of them directly. So this direct observation is very important to get authenticate that whatever I am observing is exist. So I hope we all has observed these two realities or we are observing these two realities. So this was the homework discussed yesterday. Are you able to see that you are there? If yes, how did you come to this conclusion? So we have to ask this question. If I think that I exist, then how I have made this conclusion? Then are you able to see that the body is also there? If yes, how did you come to this conclusion? By seeing the body with the eyes or some other way. So for example, when your eyes are closed, in that case, you can also observe your body through sensations. So when your eyes are closed, if you start observing by consciousness, if you start reading sensation of the body, then you can see that many activities are taking place in my body. And I can see it directly without, without using my eyes. So we can say that body exists. Then can you see that you exist and the body also exists? Can you see this even when your eyes are closed? Try and observe this throughout the day today. And you are observing. Are you able to observe that you and the body are two distinct reality? So the objective of this step one is to see that there are two different realities. Two distinct realities. One is consciousness and one is the body. If these, if the two realities exist, then it is easy for me to take decisions. Then I am not dependent on my body. If I am the body, if I am the sensations, then it will be difficult for me to get out of the impact of these sensations. But if there are two realities and two distinct realities, then it would be easy for us to read sensation of the body with my choices. If there are two distinct realities, then we have the choices. If both are same reality, then we don't have any choice. We will get affected by the sensation of the body. So in that sense, to understand that the, there are two distinct realities is important for us. So that's why we are observing myself, observing the body and trying to see whether both the realities exist separately or not. So this was the exercise uh, step one of exercise two. So if you have any immediate question or uh, sharing, we can take it. Then we will move towards this step two of exercise two, where we will see how the transactions are taking place between the self and the body. So let's take uh, one or two observations from step one of exercise two. Hanji, uh, namaste. So regarding this topic, Bhaiya, so uh, from uh, two, two days before it has happened, uh, mm -hmm. one, one is uh, I have uh, some sort of uh, um, disturbances in my mind during uh, I have some classes. So regarding the classes, I am some sort of dis disturbance in my mind. Regarding the new admission calls, uh, it also is going on my mind. 
and uh, some uh, uh, some meetings are there so regarding the meeting also it is an important but in my mind uh, uh, that admission calls and so many people are calling regarding our college so i am answering to them so like that i am disturbed in that mode and also i have to go for classes so i, I I take a uh, tackling all these three things when I have attended the meeting, some sort of concentration was disturbed on me. So, uh, so that meeting is also an important. So, uh, sir asked about the some sort of dates. So, I just forget about the dates. What uh, I I know everything about the dates, but during some sort of disturbance, I I am unable to express the dates. So, this was my concentration, but that is important. Uh, during some sort of di disturbances in mind, uh, my self and body was not in my state, conscious state. That's not all. Yeah. So when I when I have chaos in my mind, mm -hmm. then it mm -hmm. becomes difficult to observe ha. myself also and yes. the body also. Ha, ha. So let's start practicing when you are peaceful. For example, mm -hmm. in the morning, mm -hmm. so you can start practicing mm -hmm. that are you able to see that two realities exist separately? One is the body and one is the self. Mm -hmm. yes. So you can see these realities mm -hmm. by direct observation. Mm -hmm. So once you are able to see both the realities by direct observation, Mm -hmm. Then you can handle this chaos easily. Mm -hmm. What happens okay, now? Man. Whenever I am in a chaotic situation in my mind, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. we start indulging my body also. So there is a mm -hmm. chaos in my mind, but I start mm -hmm. indulging my body. So mm -hmm. when I start using my body, once I start giving many instruction to the body, then body mm. also gets affected with my state of yeah. consciousness. Mm. Mm. So chaos in my mind, but body is getting affected. So mm. many diseases mm. in the body is because of mm. my chaotic thoughts. Mm. So during exercise one, we try to understand what are the basis of my decisions. Mm. During exercise one, we try to understand that I have enough potential to handle mm -hmm. my state of mind mm -hmm. by the understanding of coexistence, relationship, mm -hmm. with the feeling of coexistence and relationship. Mm -hmm. That's why we started exercise one first, so yes, that sir. we can handle this chaotic situation every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this peaceful mm -hmm. state, now I can observe my body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, so let's start practicing when you are peaceful. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your body will get damaged with your state yes. of consciousness. Yes, Maya. Mm -hmm. If it is in a cool going manner, it, it won't disturb to my mind. But all type of three types of uh, situations came onto my mind. So I got disturbed in which situation I am talking. Some conscious, I have lost my consciousness in that state. See, your potential to see your consciousness exists in you, in your consciousness. There is, mm -hmm. uh, it is mm -hmm. available continuously with us. But what mm -hmm. happens when circum uh, with the circumstances, mm -hmm. I start thinking on the basis of those circumstances, not on the basis mm -hmm. of my innate potential. So okay. mm -hmm. that's why we get trapped into the situation of outside circumstances. Mm -hmm. So if we are aware that we have innate potential mm. and by using that innate potential and by mm. using that the state of that pure observer, mm -hmm. I can observe my feeling, thought every moment and mm. I can evaluate this on the basis of the coexistence and relationship. Then okay. only I will be able to get out of this chaotic situation. Mm -hmm. okay. But generally, we forget that we have innate potential. We can change the basis mm -hmm. of our decision 
that's why we get mm -hmm. trapped into out mm -hmm. situations. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh -huh. yes, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Uh, number one, uh, the assignment given, uh, I think it was on the screen, it was step two also. Observing slowly means it was combination of one and two. Am I right, Bhaiya Ji? Ji? Right, Bhaiya. But, but, uh... I could not discuss this step two. Today I will start this step two. But you can share. Okay, okay. Small, small. Like, um, of course, it is related with step one. So it is very clear from various activities of the, um, you can say, body and the self. As I have studied, this is my fourth cycle. So I can clearly see that the needs of the body are the different. Activities of the bodies are the different. And responses of the bodies are different. So that's why, for example... Whenever uh, I want, I am hungry, I am taking uh, food, but at the same time, the sensation of being hungry, though it is in body, through unwired transaction, it is being transferred to the self. Here, I will not use the word, I am not using, earlier I was using mind, because mind word may be confusing for somebody else. So, it is always self and the body. So self gets the information and then I start taking food. No sooner my stomach is full with three, four chapatis, again the sensation comes, oh, that is full. It means that there is somebody else, means the, uh, whatever, we, I cannot take the food continuously. So the uh, need of the body is completed by the means material thing is material thing. At the same time, I want this, you can say, I am in the state of harmony, happiness, respect. So it is continuously requires. If Gopal Bhaiya stops me, no, no, you are going beyond the syllabus. So I am somewhat getting disrespected. So that is the need of the self. And from these two things, since the needs of the self is different and body is different, it is very clear that it, it, it can be from so many examples, closing the eyes, uh, putting some pat on the uh, back or this. So all this. And last point, the slow observation means what? While chewing the food, if I observe it and if I really take the food slowly, I can see the difference. But the same uh, cannot be done while uh, boarding the train or while boarding the bus. So there the imagination or the self gives the instruction, be faster. But when there are the conditions, means whatever be the instructions are given by the self to the body, they are depending upon this situation for some times. For some times. It is not continuous. Jivaya, this is my exploration nowadays. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You may comment. Namaste, Saviku. Dhanyavad. Right, Bhaiya. So, very good observation by Bhaiya. Ji, ji, ji. So, I am doing sometimes, <laughs> not for all the times. Thank you. Yes. So my body is hungry. I am not hungry. I will be in a state of harmony or in a state of contradiction. Yeah. So my body is hungry because it needs some physical chemical things like food, yeah. water, etc. Yeah, yeah. So this sensation is going on in my body. And uh, it is developed have... in the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is developed yeah. in the body and catched by the cell. G G. It is my G. So when I see that there is a need of some physical chemical thing in body, yeah. then I start thinking where whether I should give it or not. Should it mm -hmm. give? Should I give it now or later? All yeah. these things are happening in me as a consciousness. Yeah. So as you rightly said, but I am just facilitating with few lines. Otherwise, yeah. your observation is very good. Thank you. Yeah. So body is hungry, hungry, but. Now I am thinking whether should I I should give it to food or not. Ji. So if I decide to give food, then I give it. And all these decisions are taking place in my consciousness. Ji, so this is how I exist because these activities are going on in me. Mm -hmm. And that's why this body exists because I am reading some sense, physical chemical sensations which are happening at the level of body. Ji. So we can say both exist. Ji, ji, ji. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Vinaya. Thanks a lot. Namaste, Sarvipur. Dhanyavad. Okay.
Okay. So let's take one more sharing and on step one of exercise two. Master. Namaste, Namaste. Uh, uh, yesterday I developed I my body developed a catch at the back side and okay. it is still persisting. And while thinking about that, yes, the catch is developed in the body, and I mm. want to see it. I closed my eyes, and uh, I could see that, yes, catch is there, even if I am not able to see it, but it is there. So I thought that it is the self which can uh, observe it, and that is no need of body to understand that yes the catch is there so therefore i thought that yes there are two distinct uh, realities and they are maybe linked to each other while giving the information but there are two entities i can feel very clearly so that was my small sharing thank you okay so many of us have realized or have observed that there are two distinct realities. One is the body and one is the consciousness. So whenever there is a physical chemical activity, I can directly observe it and say that this is the body. It exists. Whenever there is a conscious activities like desire, thought, expectations, then we can say this is consciousness and it exists. So many of us in fact, all of us are able to see both the realities. So now we can move to step two. And with this step two, then we will take your observations again. So let's understand the step two. So in step one, we have tried to understand that there are two distinct realities. One is material, other is consciousness. Now in step two, we are trying to observe the interaction between the self and the body. And who is observing this interaction? Again, consciousness, self. So now we are trying to understand how this interaction takes place between the self and the body. So this is the objective of this step two, to understand the transaction between the self and the body. So if we see, then we can say that whatever transaction, interaction between the self and body exists, it exists in the form of information. So in the form of information, self and body are interacting with each other. So for example, I give some instructions to the body. So this instruction is in the form of information. So when I give instruction to the body, body follows it. And I give only those instructions to the body that I consider to be important. And whenever I give those instructions, body follow it. For example, I say, gets up. So body gets up. I say, walk, the body walks. I say take food, the body takes food. So whatever instruction I give to the body, number one, it is in the form of information. And number two, what instruction body gets from the consciousness, it follows. If it is in a good state, then it follows the instruction of the consciousness. So instruction is in the form of a information. So these instructions are not in the form of physical chemical thing. These instructions are in the form of information. Similarly, on the basis of events taking place in the body, sensations are taking place. And I read those sensations that I consider to be important. And these sensations which I am reading is also an information. So I instruct the body in, with some information. I read sensation from the body and these 
sensations are also an information. So information is exchanging between the consciousness and the body. The interaction between the self and the body is only in the form of information, not of any physiochemical things. So it is very important to observe it that no physico-chemical things is being exchanged between me and the body. Only the information is being exchanged between the self and the body. In fact, the self, the consciousness is more subtler than the body. That's why the consciousness, in fact, cannot touch any physical thing. For example, you take food, you decide to take food, then your body pick up, uh, picks up the food and you put it in your tongue and with some physicochemical things, it creates a taste. And now the consciousness cannot touch this food directly. Consciousness cannot touch the physicochemical activities taking place in the body directly. The consciousness can read only the sensation which is taking place because of the food is in touch of your tongue. So consciousness is just reading the information. It cannot touch that tongue directly. It cannot touch that food directly. Some sensations happen. Sensation means uh, with the physicochemical activities, some impacts are generated at our tongue. And these impacts are read by the consciousness. So consciousness is only reading those impacts, effects which are happening due to physicochemical activities. It cannot touch those physicochemical activities directly. So it is very interesting. So as per, uh, for example, rasgulla or any sweet. So consciousness cannot touch that sweet directly because it is more subtler than uh, physicochemical things. But the consciousness can read only the information information about the activities that is happening at your tongue as the result of that uh, chewing the food. So it is very important to observe here that consciousness cannot touch any physical thing directly. It is reading the impact or the effect which is happening at your body because of some physical chemical things. And when I feel that this food is tasty, I decide to repeat this effect again and again. And each time I am not directly touching the uh, physical chemical material. I am just reading the sensation. I am just reading the information. So it is important to note here for all of us. Are we able to observe it that consciousness cannot touch any physical thing? Consciousness cannot touch any physical chemical activities. Consciousness is just reading the information that is happening because of activities at our body, at the level of our body. So information is exchanging between the self and the body. So whenever I instruct my body to do something, body follows and these instructions are in the form of information. No physical chemical activity is taking place between me and the body. Similarly, when something happening at the level of body, I cannot touch it directly because I am more subtler than the body. But I read those sensations. And sensations are also are the form of information. So these are also a kind of information. So I read information, I give instruction. And these instructions are also an information. So only the information is 
taking place between me and the body. So I give information, instruction to the body, and I read some information, information from the body. So only the transaction of information is being taking place between me and the body. And we have to observe it, whether it is true or not. And we can directly observe it because we have enough potential to observe myself, to observe my body. Now onwards, we have to observe it that is there any physical chemical things being exchanged between me and the body or only the information is being exchanged between me and the body. So instruction is also an information. I read some physical chemical activities, sensations, that sensations are also an information. So I read information, I give information to the body. This is only happening between me and the body. So it is important to note that consciousness cannot touch any physical chemical activity, any body directly. It can read information only. So with this, we have to observe step number two. And step number two, try and observe the instructions we are given to the body. Are you giving instructions to the body all the time or only sometimes? So once you are clear that only the information is taking place, is being exchanged between the self and body, then you will see that I am giving only those instructions which I think to be important to give to the body. So whatever instructions I think are important, I give it to the body. Then try and observe various sensations taking place in the body. So many physical chemical activities are taking place in our body. But are we reading all of them? So are you reading the sensations in the body all the time or only sometimes? So it is again an important point to note that in the body from top to toe, many activities are taking place. But I do not read all the activities. I read only those sensations which I think important. So are you reading all the sensations in the body or some of them? And on what basis are you reading these sensations? You have to explore this. Try to do any activity slowly and observe the interaction of the self and the body during that activity. So be peaceful, sit in a comfortable posture and then try to observe it. Then try to observe it that the information is exchanging between the self and the body or any physical chemical activities is being exchanged between the self and the body. Observe that am I reading all the sensations happening in the body or am I reading few sensations which I think important to be read in my body. Then observe whenever I give instruction to my body, is there any physical chemical thing being exchanged between the two? Then observe when I read some sensation from the body, can I touch those sensations directly as a consciousness? No, I can only read the information in the form of sensation. So no physical transaction is being taking place between me and the body. Only the information is being exchanged between me and the body. And this we have to observe. So if we are able to observe that information is only information is being exchanged, then we can we can make our decision more fine, finer than the earlier. But if we are confused that whether the information is being exchanged or physical chemical activity uh, things are being exchanged, then it becomes difficult for us to take good decision for me as well as the body. 
so these are few observations which we have to observe directly when we are sitting peacefully so observe your body observe yourself observe your sensations happening in the body observe your decisions that you are giving to the body and all during all this observation just observe that only information is being exchanged between the self and body or some physical chemical things are being exchanged between that two this we have to observe so let's start observing we will take 5 minutes break and during this break you just observe what transaction what interaction is happening between the self and the body just observe just observe your body just observe yourself then observe interaction between the self and the body so after 5 minutes we will you know share our observation and when we share our observation then it help us to understand the process so let's start observing after 5 minutes we will share our observation so just observe for 5 minutes okay so let's come back and now we can share what you have observed in the consciousness in the body and regarding the interaction between the self and the body so we can namaste bhaiya namaste everyone bhaiya am i audible yes yeah didi okay bhaiya actually he raised my hand earlier so um just a general question can i ask bhaiya or observation yeah, you ask. Ask. yes bhaiya whenever uh, we feel our body we can exactly observe our external organs and internal organs also we can feel or we can also imagine the internal organs but whenever we are imagining our <clears throat> consciousness then uh, that is only through our feelings um understanding level now um i want i had uh, a question that can we uh, imagine that we have a particular location of the uh, self maybe it is uh, located in heart or in the brain or it is floating like that similarly bhaiya that we have a center of gravity similarly can we have a particular position which is say floating and then only we can uh, feel that there is distance between the um, self and the body uh, that is my question uh, regarding those assignments and number 2 um, according to this observation what i feel is that um, say i had a itching in my eyes my hand <clears throat> automatically goes there and grab the eyes so whenever there is itching there is some sensation and that sensation has flown um, moved to my consciousness uh, then stimuli and response in terms of that we can say so my hand automatically comes and all sensations whatever is happening it is happening automatically i feel only some things only uh, we, we feel that we are uh, our uh, soul our self is giving instruction to the body so these are the two questions bhaiya yes yeah. so regarding the first if you are able to see that body exists and the self exists and both are separate realities then you can observe your location also where you are so you are in this existence body in this existence you are communicating with this body because you have accepted your existence with this body now you observe yourself and try to find out where you are so whenever you read sensation ask yourself where i am so you ask yourself and try to see where you are 
you may be anywhere around the body you may go inside the body outside the body because you are more subtler than the body that's why you can cross your body also you can move in move out you can around you can be around your body you can be at a distance with your body it is your decision where i would be so because i am not aware of my activities i am not aware that i am a distinct reality than the body that's why these questions come into our mind but it is you who are deciding where you will be so observe sharply and observe concentrately and ask yourself where i am so you will get answer see you are reading sensation from the body it means you can go anywhere in the body mm. but just observe it and ask this question and again again where i am mm. and try to find out where you are so suppose you take decision that i will be only in my left hand and with mm. this decision you sit quietly and try to be in your left hand and see what is happening other parts of the body then you will be able to see that i am at the left hand at this time then you change your position then you can change your position it is your decision because body is just material you can move here and there everywhere where you want to go so just observe and take decision and then observe where you are then take decision then observe by this way you will be knowing where i am mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> okay bhaiya and regarding the second question mm -hmm. so many activities are happening at the level of body mm -hmm. and when any sensation takes place in my body mm -hmm. i read this information and i read this information and then i decide what to do with this sensation suppose there is a itching mm -hmm. in my body so when uh, first i read this information that there is a itching then i decide what to do with this itching if i decide let it happen let it observe mm -hmm. your hand will not move your itching intensity of itching will grow and slowly it will get down mm -hmm. and slowly it will disappear because all physical chemical activities which are happening in our body are cyclic it will start arise it will mm -hmm. go with some intensity then it will go down and it will disappear mm -hmm. but generally we interfere between this process mm -hmm. with my decision so next mm -hmm. time what you can do you just observe your body and if mm -hmm. you find any sensation in your mm -hmm. body mm -hmm. then you decide i will not do anything i will just observe this sensation mm -hmm. and you will find that my hand is not moving automatically because i have decided now okay yes and this itching will go down will settle with time mm -hmm. and so it is not happening automatically i am taking decision unconsciously because i have assumed that all the circumstances which doesn't suit me should not happen with me with mm -hmm. this basic assumptions i mm -hmm. instruct my hand because i am instructing instructing my hand the hand goes and and uh, solve this itching problem and come down mm -hmm. all this happening with my decisions mm -hmm. so next time you do not take decision let the itching take place let it happen then you will mm -hmm. able to see that it is not happening automatically it happens with your decisions okay yes yes mm -hmm. right okay thank you thank you bhaiya okay thank you didi 
so let's take another sharing regarding this step 2 of exercise 2 good morning bhaiya am morning, i audible bhaiya. yeah bhaiya, yes yeah just by a, a while contemplating on this exercise, uh, some uh, uh, two or three uh, issues came to my mind with regard mm -hmm. to this, that uh, when I am, uh, say, uh, instructing my body, and what is mentioned here uh, in the session, that uh, the body follows it. Or mm -hmm. just now when you, uh, when you were answering uh, Didi, you said that... Uh, uh, we are instructing uh, our hand uh, uh, or uh, say for uh, to each or not to each. Then uh, uh, our hand uh, uh, follows it. Uh, what I see mm -hmm. here is that uh, there is uh, because body is just a material and mm -hmm. there are certain actions which are innate in the body and it is a part of Vivastha. And uh, those actions are going on continuously in the body is there. But as regards to uh, those actions which are uh, going on according to my instructions, what I see that it is not that only I do, I give instructions and the body follows it. What I see is that every moment, every moment uh, I have a role in it, that the body doesn't follow it automatically. It is me who is letting the body follow this. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that I, uh, you know, that is the issue uh, which I just want to uh, put it before you, and I want your opinion. That body doesn't follow it. It is me who is letting the body follow the decision till the end of it. Am I right, Bhaiya? Right, right. So this is what we are saying in step two. In step two, we are saying yeah. that in just a minute. So this. So in step two, we are saying that I give instruction, then body follows. So with no, but my we, instruction, but we should not stop here. That this that I give instruction and the body follows it. No, I give instruction and I let the body follow it. It is me who is responsible for everything which is which body is doing. It is me who, who is with the body or the parts of the body every time till the till the end of it. It is not that body is following. Or it is not that body is doing something. It is me who is using the body as an instrument and who is using the hands, the nails. Or uh, whatever uh, to uh, to 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 conduct uh, the actions according to my instructions. That is what I uh, gather. So, you. Am I right? right? Yes, you are right here. So when we give instruction to the body, it means I am allowing my body to follow it. That's why body is following it. Giving instruction means I am allowing my body to follow it. But by, so uh, that's uh, why I shall use another word. It is not that I am allowing. I am I am I am using my body as an instrument to uh, execute that actions. It is not allowing somebody because body is a material and it is a, it is not uh, chaitanya. So it cannot function according to its own. There are certain actions in the body which are related for yavastha. So those actions will be done in the body till till the body is there alive. But uh, when I'm giving instructions to the body, the body doesn't follow. That is what I gather from here. It is me mm -hmm. uh, who is letting the body follow it. It is me. Every time we I'm both there. Are saying Every the time same I'm thing. there. Yeah, we both are Jee saying yeah. the same thing. But it is good. If you are listening by in this manner, it is good. So essence is uh, same. What you are saying and, and I am saying, essence is same. But way of presenting is different. So what you are uh, sharing, I also I also want to convey the same. But my words are different. So what you are saying, I am saying exactly. That we are giving instruction. And with this instruction, I am I allow my body to follow that action. That's why body is following that action. And there is another case of saying that you are saying. The important thing is the body act when I instruct it. Otherwise, many activities are going on in body. But body, as a body, act when I instruct it. So with my instruction, body acts something. 
राइट भैया जी भैया और एनी अदर और और एनीथिंग यू वांट टू एडिट ऐड इन इट भैया बस जस्ट इफ यू से इन हिंदी जैसे मैं सूचना देता हूँ और जो शरीर है वो करता है ये सेंस उसमें जाता है कि व्हेन आई गिव इंस्ट्रक्शंस द बॉडी फॉलोज इट बट अगर हिंदी में उसको लिया जाए कि सपोज जैसे मैं सूचना देता हूँ नहीं मैं सूचना भी देता हूँ और बॉडी से करवाता भी हूँ ये थोड़ा सेंस का बस फर्क है भाई थैंक यू कुछ थैंक यू भैया so now we have only 2 minutes so let me revise this homework and we have to do this homework all the day every moment you know so we have to observe the instructions that we are giving to the our body and when we are giving this instruction are we aware that these instruction are information only similarly when we are reading some sensation which are happening at the level of body are we aware that this reading information uh, sensation is also an information i cannot touch my body directly i cannot touch anything directly but i can read that impact that happens due to physical chemical activity so this is again in the form of information and with this we are trying to observe my body observe myself observe interaction between the self and the body so we have to do it all the time when we are peaceful observe yourself observe your body observe the interaction between the self and body when you are not peaceful then observe yourself observe your body and observe the interaction between the self and the body so when you are peaceful then you will be able to see more subtle activities happening at the level of your body when you are not peaceful then you will be able to see many activities that is happening due to excitement in the body so all the time few activities are going on many activities are going on in my body and activities are going on in my cell and transaction or interaction between the self and body is taking place so if i observe it that physical chemical activities are happening in the body conscious activities happening in my cell and the only information is taking place between me and the body then i will be able to see i will be able to handle those information more precisely more correctly if i am aware that there is only information taking place between the self and the body so we will see with time with other steps but till then we have to practice we have to observe the self the body and the interaction between the self and the body